whatever you say about anyone else, my friends, beautiful spo spirits, spoles, <laughs> souls, spirits, spoles, whatever you say about anybody else, you generally, nearly always, you basically are absolutely it yourself to a degree. So, if you say someone else is mean, cold hearted, just remember guys, you have been mean or cold hearted in your life at some point, especially when you're hurting or confused or traumatized from the past or whatever. No, no one is absolutely a bad person or a good, good person even. Good is an understatement. We're all absolutely amazing people, guys. We are all divinity embodied in physical form in this third dimension or this third density reality, okay? This is a time-space reality. We live in other dimensions. We're multidimensional beings. And when you get your pineal gland activated much more, you will know and experience this firsthand for yourself, okay? But... I want to say, I want to, this video is about melting the heart, opening the heart, healing the heart. Because we get in conflicts with people, people get in conflicts with us. Usually the e the ego tendency, let's say the immature, because I don't really like the word ego too much, I don't dislike it, I kind of dislike it a little bit. I find it's confusing and an old word at this stage. It also doesn't mean three letters to try and symbolize so much. Maturity is a far better word much more descriptive in my opinion we're like you know a seed to a sapling to an oak tree for example or a big tree depending on our level of maturity will show and depend on how we respond what people call the level of consciousness our level of awareness our level of perspective and understanding our level of energy vibration compassion love various chakras working together and being more open etc instead of having blocks because of traumas and conditioning so i want to help this vid in this video to avoid conflict to dissolve conflict as it's brewing and to help heal conflict just remember guys i ask you to be i ask you for your own sake to consider the idea of letting go of blame and letting go of name calling or criticisms so and bear in mind when we have an act a behavior that we can call mean it's not that we're a mean person of course in the slightest bit but what if you want to be a little bit more accurate you can say you're acting mean in this moment or you could say you're acting negatively in this moment but i know you're a lovely 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 human being and divine being and i know you see i'm into raw naked pure unadulterated natural honesty so for example you could say to somebody listen I had a person say kind of like a bit of a nasty and sort of personal nasty and personal comment okay that could be the standard way of calling it a nasty and and um personal comment on one of my videos a while ago and usually I never really get these okay um, I wanted to I probably looking back today which is what inspired me the video I was reflecting I was thinking you know I could have said something I, I, I could have said something like instead of saying thank you for your cold hearted comment but I didn't call that person cold hearted and I, they aren't cold hearted if they are I am as well like and I'm no better or worse than them we're the same the truth is it, it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit, okay? Like why I made a nice video to help people. And what I could have said, which is what I was thinking before this video is, I could have said, instead of saying thank you for your cold hearted comment, which is the beginning, but then I wrote like other stuff and I wrote a lot of other things that I, by my own little standards for myself, were good standards and lived up to my good standards in my second and final comment, which was the end of the conversation. And then they, then that was the end, so I was happy that it wasn't a big, long dialogue. I don't want to spend my time in hurtful communication or any negativity. I want to uplift people and I want people to uplift me, you know. 
So I could have said something like I'm sorry to hear that you making this comment to me. I wish it didn't hurt my feelings, but I have to admit it does sort of hurt my feelings a little bit. It got to me a bit. I don't know why you want to say such things to me considering I haven't done anything mean or hurtful to you. I never intended to do anything mean or hurtful to you. I don't even know who you are. But it does make me a little bit sad or disturbed to receive this from you, even though you know you might learn the spiritual teachings to be unattached and all this sort of stuff. At the end of the day, we're emotional human beings at the same time, you know. I feel like this is an example of what you could sort of say in raw, naked, true honesty, like total nakedness and vulnerability, if you ever felt like it in the appropriate person or situation. So I'm talking to you now. Um, I had a, f a feeling or an inclination to say things that I'd call mean back to you, to maybe possibly hurt your feelings or to retaliate or to reciprocate what I feel that I'm receiving but at the end of the day I don't really want to be the type of person that's not what I choose for myself to be I don't want to be someone who just lashes out if I've been lashed to I'd rather speak healing words from my heart which I feel this is and you are a lovely beautiful person and I respect and honor and admire you and in the past I think you're only saying these things because you're hurting and I don't I know there's a good reason for you to say these type of things. Not that I agree with them or would advocate saying sort of personal or could be hurtful comments. But I do know that they are coming really, truly, surely from a place of hurt or protection against for a loved one which you might perceive to be attacked. Um, so you're either defending either yourself or a loved one, basically, most probably. Um, that's, that's my guess. But at the end of the day, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to bring you down. I don't want to deflate you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to be negative to you. I don't want to be neg. I don't want to embody negative energy to, b before I even give it to you. I don't want to even feel and have that negative energy to throw at you to be. I don't want to feel that myself. I don't want you to receive that from from me or even really ideally anybody, but especially not from me. That's not what my life is about. So I wish you a lovely day, and I hope you go away from this post or this computer feeling better and more happy and less stressed I don't want you to be stressed life is hard enough I kind of said a little bit of this stuff to the person but for me anyway like speaking to you now life and this is what you could say to another person life is hard enough you know like it's hard, at least it's hard enough for me without people trying to be downers and hurt you or drag you down so you know that person deleted their comments actually their two comments to me which weren't the friendliest and I'm glad that they did that in a way I don't mind what they did or didn't I didn't I wasn't gonna remove it because at the end of the day I actually like to be an example and to show myself there in the public honestly nakedly and transparently if I say stuff that is average good or bad I like to show it and to show people where I was in that moment of making that post but I can also go back and try and um, make amends. And I guess this lovely person decided that their comments maybe weren't as good or nice to their standards as... So then they removed them, so... Either way, it's okay. I don't mind what they do or what I... Like, we all are human. We all make... We all have lows and ebbs and highs, so... I'm the same as everybody, so... Remember, you're the same as everybody. We're, we're in it together, guys. It's a, we're in the boat. We're in the boat of life, so. So have compassion and love for yourself and acceptance and have love and compassion and acceptance for others. But but also be powerful and strong. And don't be afraid to speak your truth. But I don't really agree with the whole idea of like just shutting out. Um like blocking immediately necessarily. Like it depends what type of person you are. I'm a very sort of like tolerant, um if that's the right word. I give people a few, good few chances if they keep keep on like everyone has their little down moments so I don't I try not to like punish anybody or anything like that and if I make a mistake I'll try to say sorry make amends and become friendly again so that's all we can do and that's what life's all about we're free in the moment and we make a new choice at every second so it's all about our life is completely created by us basically speaking by our daily decisions so that's an amazing and powerful thing <laughs> okay guys 
this video has been long enough. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and energy in watching. Thank you for your love and support in the past to me, for helping me in any possible way, and even for your just positivity and love and comments to me. I could, if I could ask you to do something, I'd ask you to give this button a hit, the like button underneath, give it a hit, hit the like button. Uh, share the video please if you felt it was worthwhile or helpful or inspiring to other people. I'd love to get the message of this type of thing out more in the public. I'd really love that. So share on your social media or watch or share with your friends or family in person, okay? Maybe your children, like, this is like such, this is like, for me in my opinion, or for in my life, this would be groundbreaking. Like, this would have affected my life when I was growing up so much. But I'm just glad I know now and I'm grateful. I want to live more in gratitude and appreciation for everything and everybody, so... I thank my blessings. So, um, if you, if anybody would like one-to-one -one holistic spiritual life coaching from me, I do do that, and it's below the link. Okay, ownfox.org. You'll see description, and you can see my website. You can see uplifting and inspiring. Check out the uplift and inspire section. I really like that section. I've been adding really good material from my opinion or standards to that. Really good. You can also check in my web store below. Higher Self Herbs. It's a herb shop for health. It has enzymes and superfoods and herbs on it. I'm proud of that, but anyway, I won't go on and on, but have a lovely day, and just if you, one last thing, before, if you see the below in the video links, you also see, I have new other, like, channels, which you can subscribe to, like, specifically only on health, like, Radiant Natural Health, Beauty and Fitness, I have one, just purely higher self herbs, another one, purely about own Fox, Spiritual Life Coach, all with these type of videos, you know, and then, Another one about my own personal life. It's also like about my own personal life. So, um, God bless. And I'll see you again another time. But guys, thanks, thanks for your time and energy, and uh, have a beautiful day. Heart hugs and kisses. See you now.